Okay guys, I am here today with a current favorites video. I guess you could say it is my October favorites because I haven't done one in a really long time. I haven't felt like talking about favorites and stuff I've liked. So, but today I kind of felt like I wanted to. I don't have a ton of stuff to share because truth be told, October was a really shitty month for me. My dad lost his battle with cancer, October 20th, so, you know, just a really shitty month. I'm probably going to always, I, I used to love October. It was one of my favorite months of the year. I love fall. I love Halloween. And now I just, I don't know, it sucks. But anyways, let's, you know, try to be a little less depressing and fill our lives with stuff that sounds a little happier but meaningless that's that's a really depressing way to start a favorites video isn't it but that's just kind of how I feel right now so anyways let's get started okay um I don't other than today where I'm wearing a bunch of crazy eyeshadow I've just really not been feeling eyeshadow lately I just have wanted to make my skin look good fill in my brows do a bunch of mascara and wear a pretty lip and that's about it so a lot of the favorites I'm gonna show you that's kind of that so for mascara I've had two of these this is my second one I think I have one more it's the Lancome Monsieur Big mascara it's the newest one from them I love it I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can tell how it, I mean it makes my lashes look great it's a regular bristle brush it's not the plasticky ones I just love it. It lengthens, it volumizes, it makes them have like a little bit of that fluttery effect, but full, it's just, it's a great mascara. I, I think the full size is like 22, 23, something like that. So it's not on the higher, higher end of mascara, like a lot of some of the mascaras these days. It's just good. Um, I don't know if I'll pick up the full size when I need to or if I'll just buy like the deluxe size because a lot of times those small sizes are just better. And then for my actual face makeup, I have been using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer again and I have the shade Bronzer. I think it's the darker of the two, but neither are really dark. And it's just a really, I have it on today, it's a very natural, soft bronzer. It gives you... It's almost like a satiny sheen look. It's not glittery or anything, but it's not a matte flat bronzer. Some of those sometimes can almost just be a little too muddy looking on the face. And I'm just like this. It has that kind of coconut smell. And then for cheeks, this I've only been wearing about the past few past week, but I've been enjoying it. And it is NARS Luster. It's kind of like an oranger version of Madly. I tend to usually reach for this in the summer when I have a little more color. It seems to be just a pretty summer blush. I'm wearing it today, but I just kind of like it. It gives me that really nude look to the face. It's just a look I've enjoyed. And then randomly for my Hourglass palette, Incandescent Light. I'm going to cover up the other two because I'm painting this palette this year. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Um, I've been using it all year. I've used it off and on and I use it as a highlighter. I have just really fallen in love with it lately because it is the most just pretty perfect, like not in your face, like bam, I have a big stripe of color. It may look like this right now on camera because that's how it's picking up with the sunlight shining on me, but it doesn't look that way in person. It's just so pretty and soft. I like the look of highlight but every time I get one and I put it on I'm just I feel like it looks just like too much too done too fake too just not I mean nobody's supposed to have a big shimmery stripe on their cheek you know what I mean and this is just such a subdued pretty way of doing highlight I hope that makes sense and I know there's like an incandescent strobe, but I don't know if it's the same as this. And I have to say, when I do finish this, I think I will be really sad. I've never loved a highlight like I love this because I have, you know, rosacea and some texture issues. So I usually try to stay away from them, but I'm really loving it right now. 
And also, while we're talking about skin, I'm not wearing my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness under my foundation today. I haven't for the past few days. And my foundation is covering up my rosacea wonderfully. It's really been doing well. So, really good, good news there. Okay, for lips, not today. If you have seen me, I haven't filmed much, so I don't know. But I know I've worn it before in a video. If it's not like... A dark lip then it's probably this it's the Fenty gloss balm it's like the main yeah gloss balm it's the main lip gloss from the Fenty line that line overall doesn't like I'm not like called to it no reason it's just I don't know a lot of like a lot of times like designers I know Rihanna's not but those kind of brands they don't call to me and people don't usually call to me I don't know it's just I don't know it just hasn't called my name but I saw so many people on YouTube talking about this and I picked it up and it is just this pretty I want to say like your lips but better but a little bit more of a color it kind of has like a cherry smell it has some shimmer the way I would say it looks to me on your lips it's kind of like how the Dior lip maximizers look on your lips they just look like your lips but better just glossy just so pretty and that's a good way to describe this but with a little bit more color than those and it's a lot less expensive well a good bit ex less expensive because I think this is like $18 so now's the time to pick it up if you're curious with the Sephora VIB sale coming up okay the fresh sugar lip caramel lip balm I got this little baby size in a Sephora order it is so cute and I have loved it I've worn it so much smells like caramel and I have almost finished this thing I mean this is like the beauty of the fresh sugar lip balms but without the lemony smell because I kind of got over that so I liked it so much I did pick up the full size in the Sephora sale if you are curious about this I think this is a really good lip balm to pick up it reminds me not that it's the same really at all but like the Dior um you know rose lip balm that so many people love which is good don't get me wrong but give this a try is the belief moisturizing eye balm I also got this little baby size from Sephora I love this I would pick this up in the Sephora sale if I needed eye cream but I don't but I would definitely get this it is I wouldn't say it's like a balm moisturizing eye balm it says this eye cream has been blah 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 anyways it's a, I wear it day and night, but ideally if I was to like purchase it to need it for something, I would use it during the daytime. But if you don't need as much moisture, it would be beautiful at night. It's, you know, it has that kind of thick, but not too thick by any means. Your makeup goes over it beautifully. It's just, it is a great eye cream. It's moisturizing, but without being too much, it's just really good, especially as we're getting to like drier weather and stuff. So if you're curious, check it out. It is, I mean, it's really good. Like I said, if I needed an eye cream, I would pick it up during the sale, but I don't. Okay. One of my mom's friends sells Mary Kay and she had given her this foot cream and she had let me try it. And I kind of ended up stealing it from her. It's the Mary Kay Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for Feet and Legs. And the first day I put it on, I knew it said mint and I guess I just smelled it and it has like a like a little bit of a menthol scent not too bad by any means and I put it on and it was so nice on my feet and I put it up kind of like towards my calves it gave you kind of like that tingly feel but not too much at all it was just the energizing word is like so true I've had you know some well, when I first got it, my dad was at the hospital some and I was just really exhausted by the end of the day and I would get in bed and it just was so nice, so calming, so soothing. It was just something really nice. I think this would be, you know, this would be a great like teacher gift if you wanted to treat yourself or, you know, your mom, your sister, whoever, something just like a little relaxing. You could use this. You could put in one of those Sephora foot masks. You could do a hand mask. You could do... You know, if you wanted to get your girlfriend or your kids anything, you could even, you know, give them like the fresh sugar lip balm, the Fenty gloss. I think something like that would be such a nice little gift set for the holidays. So I know it's kind of a random thing, Mary Kay, but 
check it out if you if it sounds like anything you would like I absolutely love it it is just such a treat to use okay this is the cinnamon pretzel roll wallflower refill from Bath and Body Works they're not on the website anymore and I'm really sad I hope I can find more this smells so good it's going in my room right now it definitely has kind of like a pretzel note I mean it's sweet but you smell like pretzel bread you know like cooked bread but it smells so good so cozy I just I absolutely love it I don't know about the candle I can't attest to that but if you get to Bath and Body Works and you see they have these or especially if they're on sale smell it pick one up I'm not even like a big wallflower person but I love this okay and last but not least I have a pair of shoes I'm gonna show you I picked these up at Target. I had been wanting a pair of the Dolce Vita slip-on sneakers, like the high tops, but there wasn't anywhere around me that carried them for me to ever try them on. So I just never, you know, got any. You know, I love slip-on sneakers. And then Target did a collaboration with Dolce Vita, or it's like a Dolce Vita for Target line. And I saw these and I had to have them. These, it's kind of like a putty colored suede. First off, they're so comfy they're so cute they're just like I don't know they're just like a fall winter slip on sneaker they're a little bit of a step up from a lot of other ones not to say they look dressy by any means I love these I, I mean I get compliments on them by all kinds of people so even my stepson thinks they're really cool but I wanted to show you these I will link them down below so you can find them for size reference I wear anywhere between a six to a seven in a shoe I I would say my true si shoe size is a six and a half but definitely in like sandals or things like that in the summer I'll go to a seven because I personally think there's nothing worse looking than you wearing like a flip-flop with your heel hanging off the back or your toes hanging off the back like if your flip-flop is this big or if your foot is this big your flip-flop doesn't need to be that big your flip-flop needs to be larger so I don't know that's just like a weird pet peeve of mine needless to say I bought these in a size 6 so I think they run kind of large they're a little awkward to get your foot into at first you kind of have to play around and I do think they will stretch out over time with the material but I do general and tennis shoes I would say I wear a six and a half and I did go down to a size 6 so if you order online because Target has um, in-store and online shoes it's either 20 or 30 percent off right now so now is the time to pick them up or any other Target shoe if you were looking to buy any so that is all for my favorites I, um, the stuff I've liked I've really liked and that's really all I have to say so I hope you all had a better October than myself um, in time I think I'll get back to doing more regular videos I hope I haven't seemed like really down lately in videos um, I'm just being real you know that's you know sometimes life sucks sometimes we're really handed a shitty you know year or deck of cards and the rest of my life I mean it's it's great I have you know good stuff going on in my life but you know it's not always that way so I don't know I think sometimes it's important to be real so that people can see like this person talks about all this frivolous you know stuff that doesn't matter but you know it, it's because I don't want to show it's not because I don't want to show it's just I'm getting to the point I'm gonna have to cut off this video there is more to life people don't always show it because it's not as fun and that's what I'm trying to say is that I wanted to show that life isn't always that fantastic you know but you know you gotta keep going along I have no other choice but you know just know that seasons come and go if you have a really bad season of life by the next season of life it probably won't be that bad you know if you have if it's good take advantage of it and enjoy it because come another season or two life may not be so good for you I look back to where I was a year ago and I mean everything was perfect in my life you know I wish I could go back to that I'm gonna go before I cry but thank you all for all your kind words and sticking with me and nice things to say bye, -bye.